we're in the middle of the construction of the eBay for the experimental gliding parachute. My name is Tim Van Milligan. Um, in this step, we're going to start cutting up the Kevlar and start tying things on. So our first step is to take the Kevlar and we want to measure approximately 12 inches of Kevlar and take a marker and we'll just mark it right there. Oh, got a little piece of white. This was from the Velcro and uh, it's got uh, Teflon on one side so nothing will stick to it. Um, so I'm going to take some super glue and I want to just put a drop right there and that's going to stiffen up and then we can cut it right there um, and then I want to do another 12 inches approximately and I probably had too much glue just a little bit just takes a little touch okay so once you get that cut or uh, see I got this is pretty stiff um, you want to take a knife and you want to cut it but you don't want to cut it straight across you want to cut it kind of at a at a diagonal um, that will make it a nice point on the tip. I don't know if you can see that or not, but here, let me put the white behind it. So it's got kind of a tip on it. Um, and then we'll do the other one to the other side. Okay. And then this long piece, um, take the remainder of it and just fold it in half. And let's mark the middle. This one we're not going to put super glue on. I just want to mark the middle. Um, and then we're going to take our eBay assembly right here. Um, and I'm just going to wrap those around. We're going to take these two cords the two shorter ones, and we want to tie them one onto each of these loops right here. And okay, so there's one. There's one like that and then we'll do the same with the other one oops okay you want to pull these knots tight because you don't want them, see what happened there is when I pulled it tight, it, it shifted. Uh, you want to make sure that um, it's not going to change lengths on you anymore. So pull on them really tight, cinch them down because we don't want them to move because it's going to change the length of the cord, which is going to affect the uh, parachute because um, everything has to be nice and even. So those two are hooked on. And now our third one, this third piece, which has been marked here in the middle, um, that's going to go onto the servo arm. And I haven't screwed this down yet, um, so it's still, I can still pry it off. And what we want to do is um, we're going to put two knots at the outer servo holes. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but here's the middle. And we want to put one knot here and one knot there. Okay, so I'm going to take this. that. 
and that knot has to be big enough so where the Kevlar can't be, um, it won't pull all the way through. So when it gets to this knot, see here's the knot right there, and I pull hard, it can't pull through. Um, and if it will go through your hole, put another knot in there. Make those knots big enough so that it won't pull through that hole. So that's one knot. And I'll do it on the other side. So here's my little mark right there. Okay, so there's a little bit of slack here. So I want to take this knot and move it just a little bit closer into the middle. Okay, just like that. See, see how it kind of wraps around the hub right here? That's good. That's what we want. Okay, so now what I what you can see is that you know there's there's two sides of this this uh, servo arm. There's the side with the post, and then the side that's flat. We want the Kevlar to go on this side, so the knots are on the same side as that post in the middle because this will be the bottom. All right, so this end right here needs to be fed through that hole, but you can see that this is kind of frayed. So I will take some super glue and just stiffen that up and cut it off. And again, cut on an angle so you get a nice little sharp point that makes it easier to pass through that hole. Oops, I got it wrapped around. <laughs> All right, just like that. Okay, so now we want to take some masking tape, and I just have some quarter inch wide green masking tape, but you can just use regular masking tape. Just cut it into a strip that's about a quarter inch wide. And we're going to take that and on the servo arm on each side, we're going to wrap it around the outside like that. Um, just to make sure that um, it, you know, it's harder to uh, try to slide those knots through. Again, we want everything nice and tight right here. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to take our servo over here. So here's where the servo is and we're going to um, see See how it's wrapped this way? I want that wrap to be on this side of the servo, away from the bulkhead. So if I flip it over, you can see now it's towards the bulkhead, but when I flip it back, it's on this side. All right, so now we want to try to um, see how it's angled a little bit. We want to just kind of lift it up and then just kind of shift it around until we get it to be mostly straight. It's never going to be quite perfectly straight. Um, and in fact, when you um, when you turn your uh, servo on for the first time, it will center up. So what we want to do is turn on our receiver and hook everything up again. So I'm going to pull this off just so I can make sure I got everything into the right connector holes. And I need my switch. Here's my battery. 
So I want to watch this. As soon as I turn it on, it should center up. Okay, so on. Okay, we got our light. And that's going to center up that servo. So that's the neutral position right there. And you can see that it's not perfectly straight, but that's on the right um, spline on the, the gear. So everything's okay. It's a little bit, it, it is okay for it to be off a little bit like that because we're going to adjust the length of the lines based on its current position right here. All right, so that's off. I can disconnect all of this. Just get this out of the way so I have more room. Okay. So now, uh, your servo arm, there's a little screw that came with your servo, and there's, this mine had a couple of them inside. It's just, it's just a little tiny, tiny screw, and that goes right in the middle of your servo. And again, this one's really small, so it's hard to hold. But that will lock that servo arm in place. So now it can't be pried up. And now these two lines that are attached to the servo, those will be fed through the holes in the bulkhead. There's one there and one there. So now these two that are connected to the servo arm these are called your steering arms. These are the ones that are going to pull on the parachute edges and steer it. And then these other two that are fixed, these are your support lines. And these hold the, the mass, you know, um, it's, it's all the forces are mostly through these two lines right here. And these are 100 pounds each, so we have 200 pounds of force holding our parachute on. So. These shouldn't break even with the largest parachute that, uh, that this is designed for. All right, so in our next episode, our next video, we're going to take our fishing swivels and we need to modify these a little bit because they have um, these little protrusions on the edges where the wires come out. Um, that's going to snag on, on lines. So we need to cut those off and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.